Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play This Gaia! First things first, I made some preparations here. I stocked up on chocolates, flans, basically healing items, and a couple fairy dusts for the final battle here. So you want to make sure you have all those in your inventory. Uh, just take a look at my setup here real quick, just so you know what I've got. Nothing extraordinary, mostly stuff I've got from the uh, hospital rewards and... Uh, Stuff you can buy at uh, product rank 9 at the shop there, so nothing... Oh! Forgot about this. Yeah, in the PSP version of the game, you can get a dream hand from this guy if you've collected enough items. But, uh... Well, I'll go over that later. But Anyway, what I really want to show you here is, for the final battle, you want your friendly killed count, or ally kill count, to be zero in order to get the good ending. If you have one or more, then you'll get the bad ending for the game. So, just something to keep in mind. But uh, I just wanted to show you that I do indeed have zero ally kills, so I will be able to get the good ending here. So, with that out of the way, let's head on to the Seraphic Sanctuary to meet the Seraph himself. I'll probably be pretty quiet here. This eventually. is the Seraph's personal chamber. We call it the Sacred Altar. Is everybody ready? How dare you invade my inner sanctum. Ready. Anytime. Er, wait, that's another game. I'm all set. I can feel my heart pounding. Beep, 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 beep. System functioning at 100%. Thursday is good to go. Especially since you haven't been using me in battle at all. Come on, let's do it. Okay, here we go. I wonder what it looks like in his sanctuary anyway. Oh, you've kind of seen it, but... Seems like Mr. a pretty... Lamington. Pretty dark background there. Flan? I always thought it was brighter around here. M -M Master Lamington! She is a traitor who has come to take over Celestia with her abominable troops of demons! All two of them. Stop lying! You're the one who's planning to take over the entire universe. I wasn't aware that two demons counted as a swarm. S Silence, demon! Hmm. So you are a demon. Not just an ordinary demon. I am Laharl, king of the netherworld! I'm a badass freaking overlord, demon. Guy. You are the son of Krychevskoy. I see. Yeah, you sent... Flan to kill my old man. Flan. Yes, Master Lamington. Is it true that you are here with these demons to take over Celestia? No, yes. I have come to ask you a question. I mean, no. A question, you say? Yes. A few days ago, the Earth Defense Force led an invasion on the Netherworld. It was fortunate that it failed, but I discovered that angels were involved in the invasion. Please answer me! Were you behind this, Master Lamington? Yes. M -m Master Lamington, do not be fooled by her words. I mean, you did tell Volcanus to handle All everything. All she has said is a lie! He could use troops however he wanted. Angels using humans to invade the netherworld? <laughs> that is simply absurd. Yeah, we would just invade the netherworld ourselves. It's not a lie! I saw it with my own eyes! Without a doubt, they were angels! Actually, we've got much higher level demons. You are mistaken! The demons must have tricked you! While it is true that demons are aggressive by nature, they do not hurt others without reason. My friends here have convinced me of that! <laughs> this is quite unusual, Flon. You, a Celestian, refer to demons as friends and defend their behavior. Surely you're not a, a prejudiced bastard, Lamington. Mr. Lamington, at right? your request, I went to the Netherworld, and there I met Laharl and my other friends. Demons may not be perceived as good. As a matter of fact, they are rather selfish, rude, and cynical. Hey! Well, angels are like but, that, too. But I have also discovered that they have love and kindness in their hearts. Master Lamington, 
I remember you telling me that there is no such thing as absolute evil, that even demons have love. Well, you just haven't met the right guy yet. As I spent time in the netherworld, I came to realize that you were right. It also occurred to me that perhaps we Celestians have judged demons too harshly. Especially since we've never met one, apparently. Yep, especially this Volcanus guy. <laughs> How dare you! Uh, you tried to kill Come us, on. dude. I see that you have learned many things in the netherworld. Master Lamington! The wrong things. You are not mistaken. I mean, the, the right thing. What? It is true that Celestians have been blinded by prejudice. Refusing to try and understand our cultural differences, they instead chose to label demons as evil. They convinced themselves that they were the avatars of absolute good and branded demons as absolute evil. Volcanus's choices have been the result of such misconceptions and his concern for the future. I should have been more mindful of these things. Master Lamington! Did you think that I was oblivious to your actions, Volcanus? Yes, you pretty much I let him... I am well informed of all that has transpired. You pretty much let him get away with whatever he wanted. Ugh. What are you going to do now? You turned him into a flower? Angel Trainee Flon. I suppose that's one way of dealing with him. Well, that's it. We got him. We killed the yes. bad guy. You have helped save the netherworld from the invasion of the Earth Defense Force and thwarted the plans of Archangel Volcanus. Now you get to watch the credits roll. However, the fact remains that you have harmed other angels. You are to be punished for your sin. I ah. understand. I am prepared to accept any punishment. Oh yeah, murder is still murder. Wait a minute! Why does Flan have to be punished? It makes no sense whatsoever. She only did what was right. Don't you dare lay a finger on her. You'll be sorry if you do! It's alright. I knew there would be consequences for my actions. Flan! Master Lamington, I have one final request. I beg of you to forgive my companions. It is I who drew them into all of this. With my feminine charm. This is crazy, Flan! Why should you be punished? You've done nothing wrong! Yeah. Very well. I shall pardon their sins. I am grateful for your kindness. Then why not pardon her sins? Flan! Thank you, Laharl. I knew I could trust in you. You've taught me that demons do have love in their hearts. This doesn't make any sense to me! We're done here, aren't we? Let's go back to the netherworld! Yeah, game's over. Laharl, I want you to have this pendant. Pack up our bags and go home. Then stop! That's... Laharl! Hurry up and take it. My hand is burning. Oh, okay. The pendant is telling me that my heart is wicked. That's good to know. That's the pendant we had to look for. You wanted to burn me again? Yes. I want to see you suffering before ah! unpunished. Huh? Hmm? Hey, something's wrong. It's not doing anything. Maybe it ran out of power. You gotta <laughs> Just as I thought. Recharge it at the mammoth. What do you machine. mean? The wickedness has faded from your heart, Laharl. That's why the pendant isn't punishing you anymore. Oh. What? That can't possibly be right! I'm a demon! The Overlord! I'm so glad. I can say goodbye without any worries now. Goodbye? Flan? Hey, where do you think you're going? Goodbye, Laharl. I hope you become a magnificent Overlord. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for everything. Wait! Flan! Goodbye! Flan! 
Why? The existence of Angel Trainee Flan has been erased, along with her sins. I'll be honest, that part gets me a little choked up. Flan! Hey, Flan! What are you doing? I didn't say you could do this! You're going to abandon me, like my mother did. I didn't give you permission. Is this what you call love? If it is, then I'll never believe in love. Ever! Prince! King Lahoro, do you despise me? Despise you? Of course I do, you bastard! Kill you. I'll kill you! How hard could he possibly be? This is my punishment. I willingly accept it. I'll be a little quiet so you can hear the music here. Take a look at some of the enemies here. Yeah, kick ass! So, first things first. You want to bring out Laharl from the base panel? Only three steps out. If you go any farther than that, you might attract the attention of the Seraph there, and you don't want to do that. You just want to attract all of his little soldiers there first, or, well, aggro them. And take them out one or two at a time like that. Now, since they're all nice and bunched up like that, I'm going to bring out my Kengo there to use Asteroid Drop. And then try to finish them off with a good uh, Overlord's Wrath there, because she'll be out of the way. That's the only way that I'm bringing someone out beyond three steps out. Because if you go any farther than that, uh, you might attract the Seraph's attention. You don't want to. You don't want him to attack you while you're killing off his other angels. If you can kill off most of the angels before getting his attention, then you'll be fine. Then you will, uh, then it'll be much easier to, uh, finish everyone off. See, I can't use Tutton Cruise there, I don't think, yet. Yeah, it's just too high off the ground. Uh, hmm. It's gonna be a little risky, but let's go with a good, uh, Pretty Raid there. And hopefully, that won't attract any more attention. Yeah, that's pretty much the big secret to this fight, is making sure you kill all the or at least most of the angels, before killing the Seraph there. Okay, good. We didn't attract any other attention. Let's send everyone else back to the base panel. Maybe I just got a little unlucky. Let's try that again, see if I can't get more attention. No? Okay. There's three left. Let's try moving forward one space, just to see if that'll get more attention without the Seraph. Okay, good, good. Repent. I don't think Overlord's Wrath can go that Repent. far, but I'll, I'll check it out. Let's see, uh, maybe Windcutter might be able to, uh, nope, nope, uh, Windcutter. No, just barely out of range. So let's go back one, defend, and pass. Just let the angels come to you. Repent. Repent. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Rain. And even angels can deal pretty good damage with those abilities. Okay, so now what I want to do... Uh, let's see... Hmm. I could use a Meteor Impact. I'm thinking about it. But then I'm, I'd probably attract the Seraph's attention. Hmm. I'm just thinking if that's worth the risk. Let's see, let's set, well first let's heal up Baharl. He can use the healing, that's why I got those uh, chocolates there. Yeah, I'll use Meteor Impact, and don't worry about the Seraph now. We're doing fine. So yeah, um, oh, but if 
it isn't obvious, you don't have access to Flan for this battle. So, uh, yeah, that's one of the big reasons why I got all those healing items, because well, we don't have access to her for healing items, so... Uh-oh. This could be bad. Forgive me, oh lord. I thought you were in charge. Is he like praying to himself? How does that even work? Repent. Uh -oh. Pray. I'm praying. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's get out of there. Usually I don't like attracting more than one angel's attention. Um... Yeah, before, uh, attracting Lamington's attention, but, well... We're doing okay. I mean, we're not in desperate straits here, but, uh, well, I'll see what I can do. Okay, now what I want to do here is spread out my party members as much as possible, because that Armageddon attack that the Seraph has uh, will kill you if they, uh, if he hits multiple party members with it. So, let's send him over there. He should be fine with his high evasion. Send out uh, my Kingo with her high HP. And let's leave it at that for now. Thy will be done. The judgment is a single targeting attack. Usually, uh, once if you're spreading out your party members a lot. Uh oh. Oh, phew! Oh man, barely survived that one. But yeah, usually, uh, if you're spreading out your party members, he'll use judgment. If you're bunched up, he'll use Armageddon because it's an AOE. So you want to watch out for that. Let's use Meteor. Take out that last angel there if I can. As with the other angels that we've met up with, uh, they can heal. So you want to watch out for that. Uh, Lamington, I don't think, can heal himself, though. Okay, so let's see. Can I get close enough? No, I can't. Okay, well, let's at least uh, deal a little damage to uh, the Seraph there. One thing to watch out for with the Seraph is his physical attack, which is actually probably his most dangerous attack, oddly enough. Not because so much not so much because of the amount of damage he can deal, but because he has a really high counterattack rate. And if you get into a counterattack war with the Seraph there, he, he will kill you. Huh. Yeah, there's his physical. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't get into a counter war with him. Or he could just kill me. Nuts! Well, let's finish off that angel there. Uh, my Kengo can uh, do the job. Easy enough. Well, normally, what I like to do is have my ninja uh, do the healing for the battle. But I can't do that now. So I'm going to probably have my Kengo take over those duties. Yes, I can barely get in range. Now, what I want to do for this battle is even though, say, Night Sever and uh, Violent Storm are my most powerful attacks right now, I don't want to use both of them in the same round because then we'll both be right next to the Seraph and heal Armageddon, both of us. And it's really hard to do multi-targeting healing at this point without uh, Fon's help. So, I mean, I suppose I could have trained a uh, healer just for that, but I'm not going to do that for just one battle there, so... Don't worry about that. So now what I'm going to do is use Violent Storm, and then I'm eventually going to have Laharl come in with Night Sever and move Etna away. So I'm going to kind of alternate their positions like that. So that way I can use my most powerful attacks without multiple people getting hit by uh, Armageddon there. Eventually, I'll bring out my uh, Strider, there to join in with his ranged attacks, but not right now, because at the time, uh, the Seraph was just too close to the base panel, and I don't want him getting stuck down there, and then I can't really hit multiple, hit him with multiple characters. If the Seraph is in the middle of the battlefield, it's a lot easier to do what I want to do. 
Okay, so let's get in range for some healing there. Just remember, use the trick there. Heal up, go back. And then use a couple of good single targeting attacks there. No, we're not doing too bad. It's pretty important for this battle to have access to your uh, level 15 abilities that you get, uh, well, when you get your weapons up to level 15. Like, uh, Totenkreutz, Night Sever, Violent Storm, things like that, so that way you can deal a reasonable amount of damage to the Seraph. Nuts! Yeah, this is probably one of the top three hardest battles in the game, because of how much HP he has, how much damage he can deal. Holy cow. Okay, well now I'm... Since I don't have any healing to do, I'm going to have my uh, Kengo join in on the action with uh, Avalanche. So that way she can hit the guy and then bounce back out of range. So that way he can't hit me with an AoE. With uh, well, Armageddon there. And then Etna will be just in range to use Pretty Ray. Usually I like my Strider to get in on some of the action there. But uh, no, apparently not this time. He's just wailing on couple lucky hits there, man. But yeah, you probably want to be dealing your good 1,000 to uh, 1,500 per hit against the Seraph in order to uh, damage him enough. Because if you're not damaging him that much, you're going to run out of healing items or, or spell power before you can uh, finish him off. So, unfortunately, I do not have a healer other than Flan. So, I mean, I guess you could train someone like that, but well, I don't really see the point too much. It would take too long. Not to mention it would cost a lot to train a healer, uh, or to have the equipment for a healer in addition to uh, uh, Flan there. But then you'd have to have, like, two staff users. So, I figure this method works well enough. Let's get Etna out of range there now. Yeah, you don't want to move too far out of range. I think Armageddon is like a 3x3 three three AoE. Thy will be done. So, yeah, you just stay, you know, more than three panels away from everyone else and you should be fine. Okay, I think one more round ought to do. So let's get a good Violent Storm in there. And yeah, I'm out of SP. Holy cow. Well, I think we almost got him. And let Laharl do the honors. Yeah! Got him! That's what you get for turning Flan into a flower. 